Hi, this is me, Sarika, with you again on the Road Less Traveled on Channel 11. Before I start, I hope you all have subscribed and shared the channel with all your friends and family. So, shuru kare aaj ka Road Less Traveled. We all have a fascination to anyone on stage or on screen. We all have that artist inside us. Or, kabi na kabi hum sab ne in our mirrors, in front of our mirrors, we've done some kind of acting. Just because of that passion and that attraction to the artist within us. And today on the road less traveled, we have uh, someone very, very renowned in the Tri-City. Uh, people who are from here, they know who he is. I, he doesn't need an introduction. He's a theatre person uh, or I should say uh, someone from the alternate theatre as he calls it or the community theatre. Let's all welcome Mr. G.S. Chani. Kaise hai? Perfect. So let's start with the theatre. How did it all start? The, the, uh, I've been clown since my childhood because, you know, my mother used to say maskara you know, and, you know, my family mm -hmm. and, you know, joker. Uh, but uh, formally, you know, I started uh, theatre uh, when I joined uh, Indian Department of Indian Theatre in right. 1972 okay. uh, with Balwant Gargi as my teacher. Okay. And uh, he really helped me to come out of my uh, inhibitions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, coming from a small city like Patiala. Right. And helped me to understand uh, theatre and life mm -hmm. in a you know, much uh, better way, more sensitive. So that was the beginning. And then when I joined uh, National School of Drama in 73, 76, I passed out. Mm -hmm. And those were the days of uh, emergency. Right. It was really very bad, uh, you know. Um, people were being, you know, put behind the bars. People were being castigated, people were being lynched, mm -hmm. you know, uh, legally, you know, with the sanction of emergency as a law. So, those were really very bad days and, you know, um, we, I had no choice but to address right. the issues of s civil liberties. Mm -hmm. the issues of human rights, the issues of democracy, right. the, institution, the institution of constitution, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that was the, my first priority. So the need to question the whole system gave rise to your uh, street plays and your community theatre? Not only need, need for questioning, but mm -hmm. need to hitting okay. at, the, at the system and provoking people. Mm -hmm to think, provoking people for interest, right. you know, um, to take a, not only a physical course mm -hmm. of action but also intellectually, right. you know, um, uh, provoke them to think alternatively, to think against the current. Right sometimes against the establishment also, mm -hmm. uh, against the, you know, sanskar sade, you know, against the system of beliefs, right. against, uh, against the parents, mm -hmm. you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> against melodrama. <laughs> you know, melodrama is a greatest uh, dushman, uh, right. uh, enemy mm -hmm. of uh, us, uh, and we all are surveyed we and just get pulled in, away. sucked right. in by melodrama. <laughs> So when we then we started in political theater, and uh, you know the issues were you know uh, issues related to the ordinary man, and being in the street right. meant being political. Political, yes. Uh, you know when you're siding with the ordinary man in the street, you are political. You have to be political. You have to. Be. You can't say ne ne bete tianu na maru. You know. Yeah, you, you have know, to be tough and you have to be very clear in what you're So, if the present slogan mm -hmm. is Tiyanu na maro, mm -hmm. don't kill your daughters in uh, don't, uh, infanticide, yeah. 
then we would question why not hmm. what uh, what the, dear government what are you doing right. for the protection of the women hmm. sure. you know broad daylight people, women are being raped women yeah. not only raped you know teased, teased. i mean my daughter yeah. is 34 cannot go to the market hmm. you know without being teased, teased. With, you yeah. know my wife even <laughs> sometimes you know yeah rape so, is still an extreme i would say huh. but the the everyday thing that uh, women go through is much bigger so we question yeah. that and when we question that we become political hmm. you know if if True. you know whether we like it or not or whether uh, they like it or not right uh, you know we are political <laughs> and uh, it was a very happy situation hmm. So uh, another thing, ये जो political आपका जो theatre था, so it attracted lot of uh, obviously lot of likes also, and definitely some dislikes also from the authorities because when you questioning the authorities, there is uh, some ripples you're creating in the whole system. Yeah, we created the ripples, but you know we we never bothered about it <laughs> whether authorities are being bothered about us or not. Mm -hmm. We don't we didn't care. the whole lot of lot of people mm -hmm. at the hajum yeah. you know when we are putting up a show about right. uh, 1500 2000 people watch the performance they right. they are with us right. and that's our protection that's our coverage yeah. you know that's our security true, true. so although in um, sector 17 mm -hmm. there has always been the fight such that is section 144 in order okay uh, but we did our first play called the fight such that defying yeah. the, the fight such yeah. that so the the fact that uh, you know um, government wanted us not to do it we would do it mm -hmm. and there is no law in this country in our constitution mm -hmm. which stop which can stop a, a performance okay. in public space until unless you are creating a public nuisance right or until unless you are making money mm -hmm. so In which street, you're not doing which you're not them, doing right. so that's our that's my fundamental right to perform in the street mm -hmm. to perform at public spaces see lakurbuzi mm -hmm. created whole lot of uh, performance spaces in chandigarh yeah they are for us exactly. but now the administration is appropriating <laughs> you know municipal corporation is bhai aap kaun ho aap kahan se aa gaye you know they demand 25000 rupees okay. for a performance for, in shantiwan or rose okay. garden or for one performance okay. they crazy they are mad mm -hmm. they are mentally crippled i would say <laughs> <laughs> you know can't you see yeah. that this country needs cultural performances right. this need this country needs awareness this True. country needs uh, scientific temper so th you know but they go by their laws which they have not even read mm -hmm. like i i asked so many you know authorities uh, uh, you know officers in the mm -hmm. government they don't know about the performance law there is no law <laughs> okay there is uh, you know censorship for mm -hmm. cinema but theater there is no law theater, there is no law. so that's you know we i am privileged to be a theater <laughs> person to to do whatever i want to do without creating any public nuisance so you've always gone against the current और एक चीज आपने और बड़ी धमाकेदार की अगेंस्ट द करंट यू रिफ्यूज्ड अ पद्मश्री इन 1984 व्हाट वाज दैट अबाउट हां नॉट मेनी पीपल नो अबाउट इट बट आई नो इट एंड मे बी द पीएमओ रिकॉर्ड आई गॉट अ कॉल आई वाज अ टीचर एट द फिल्म इंस्टीट्यूट दैट टाइम इन 1984 व्हेन यू नो दे दे आस्क मी यू नो इफ आई वुड एक्सेप्ट पद्मश्री गवर्नमेंट इज थिंकिंग ऑफ Yeah. <laughs> awarding you awarding me i was kind of happy that you know they recognize my work, uh, and, work and you know polit political theater and you know, but you know usually i always uh, you know ask my wife for you must you things. must yes <laughs> and so i came back home and i asked told her lean uh -huh. this is what you know they have told me so she said so what did you say i said i didn't say anything <laughs> uh -huh. uh, then she said shakal dekhi apni <laughs> look into your face in the mirror do you think you should get padmashri i was just and you must have thought meri shakal dekh ke thodi koi padmashri de raha hu i was 33 mm -hmm. you know so uh, then you know we realized that they are not giving me padmashri for for my work but 
they are giving it to you know to a turban person oh yeah that was the time because yes. of the blue star operation yes yes and, that was the know, time so i refused so you uh, chose to be with your community and not acknowledge anything political at that time i chose to be with myself okay. i chose to be with my grain mm -hmm. i chose to you know at that time what i stood for right you know so and what i stood for was that i am not a man of uh, the establishment right. whichever ruling dispensation mm -hmm. you know it might be you said you stood by yourself another thing which is you is in the beginning you said you've been a clown since you've been born hmm. and you've started doing clowning in hospitals and other places also hmm. so what is clowning all about see but it's very interesting journey mm -hmm. from political theater to doing clowning exactly at, at it seems scene. like the opposite it's not something serious uh, what like political theater community theater is very serious bringing out all the political issues and then you shift to clowning making people laugh and uh, happy in places where they're supposed to be stressed like in it hospitals it is it is not opposite mm -hmm. it is i would say extension of our political work okay you know the fact that we go and perform clowning in sector 17 right you know fool around with people mm -hmm. that's a kind of political act you know we the administration says no you cannot perform and they say yes we will perform you can't stop a clown true, being true. a clown you know <laughs> after all what we are doing are we harming you are we you know um, so clowning is you know in i think for me it was quite natural mm -hmm. from polit political theater to clowning okay. there are also a lot to do with me because you see i realized I and mean, what is what is it exactly mm -hmm. what's my worth you know is it always you know shouting and slogan in the soglin you know shouting slogans and yeah, being, know, the and kind of being the krantikari kind of being the krantikari all time or do does it mean something to me also mm -hmm. you know at the age of 30 uh, at the age of 24 i 25 i was a superstar mm -hmm. in political theater right you know but uh, then this inflation of the ego in you know mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and you know becoming larger than your life right you know uh, i started reading kabir before that before becoming a clown okay and kabir ji says thore jal machli jeevar mele jal वो मछली को कहते हैं कि थोड़े जल में रहने वाली मछली बड़ी मस्त मद मस्त है तू अभी जीव रहेगा जाल डालेगा तेरा काम तमाम हो जाएगा हाँ, तो ज़्यादा इतराने की जरूरत नहीं हाँ थोड़े जल मछली जीवर मिले जाल ये टोगन ना छूट सा ये टोगन जो छप्पड़ है पाउंड है ये छूटेगा नहीं तुमसे फिर कर समुद्र समाल समुद्र में जा जहाँ पे यू नो विस्तार है expense the bigger bigger picture the the bigger life, life the bigger self mm -hmm. you know after all it, you know he's talking about self he's True. talking about you know uh, ego he's talking about ke ab jo jo ho jahan khade ho wahan mat itrao wahan pe khush mat ho ye token na chhut se fir kar samund samal fir kehte hain samund samund ke samund mein ja ke dar mat jana ghabra mat jana jo at kharo hoy खारो होता है हैं? टोगन टोगन ढूंढते भला ना कहत है कोई सो oh. so, ये हमारा जो टोगन बन गया था <laughs> है ना <laughs> कि हम पॉलिटिकल थिएटर करते हैं right. you know? तो उस, उसको वो अपने आप को अंकुश लगाने के लिए सो फ्रॉम दैट बबल टू कम आउट फ्रॉम दैट बबल हां फिर आप जी जिंदगी का रस मेरे लिए भी तो चाहिए मेरी फैमिली के लिए भी जो not my daughter became the clown first okay. certified clown okay so then i was inspired by her i was inspired by her lean she also did some clowning in the hospitals way back uh, you know 20 years ago okay so then i realized mere liye bhi to hona chahiye to kabir ji ka ek fir shlok aa gaya apne aap kahin se prakat ho gaya wo guru granth sahib mein hai okay to usme hai wo kehte hain ke har ras khand hai खेत में बिखरी राइट right. uh, हर रस कांड है रेत में बिखरी mm -hmm. हाथी चुगी ना जाए 
जो हरी का रस है रस है जो यू नो द बिग पिक्चर रस जिंदगी का वो खांड है वो रेत में बिखरी हाथी नहीं जो उठा सकता उसको हाथी चुगी ना जाए गुर पूरे मुझे दी बुझाई चींटी होके खाए तो वो कह रहे हैं कि गुरु ने मुझे समझ दी चींटियों के कहा यार तेरे को इतना बड़ा बनने की क्या जरूरत है छोटा बन के तो वो जो टोगन था हमारा हमने पहले उसको छोड़ा सी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू गो बियॉन्ड योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू गो बियॉन्ड फ्रॉम योर आइडियाज यू हैव टू गो बियॉन्ड यू नो वट यू स्टैंड फॉर राइट राइट सो हाउ डू यू डू इट द क्लाउनिंग पार्ट जस्ट बींग माई सेल्फ यू नो इन इनिशियली Uh, you know because i have been a performer and you know i started performing clowning but then i realized that is not the clowning the mm-hmm. clowning in me is not the clown mm-hmm. to be the clown is to be to be to be to be, uh, to, to be there for <laughs> people for yeah. you know now we do clowning in the hospitals mm-hmm. we are there for them and unconditionally yeah. clown is like a little child two year old child you know who is laughing unconditionally who is joyful <laughs> unconditionally you know who is giving you joy wo chappal utha lega phone karne lag jayega you know so i just wanted to be that usme koi wo nahi hai ki hum ye badi seva karni chahte hain janta ki ye koi but what i love the most about the clowning part of yours is the red nose which we have here yeah can we wear it for everyone and uh, for you wear it first then also okay. wear it Okay. okay. Normally we. So here uh, we have. Yeah. So yeah. I am a clown, and yeah. I'm sure I'm looking like one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. This is too much fun. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'm sure uh, everyone must be loving it, and I loved it, and I would definitely like to be. part of it next time whenever you doing sure you see clowning in the hospitals really heals many you know in hospitals yeah. everybody is you know from pub, this, uh, clowning at public spaces we went to the hospitals right in hospitals everybody is depressed you know mariz patients are depressed yeah. their attendants are depressed nurses are depressed doctors are doctors. largely and hugely depressed true, true. so we are there for them we just be there and you know unconditionally we are there and you know they accept us and we heal them with you know our red, red nose noses. red <laughs> nose and uh, in the process we get healed now i realize that my healing is huge then what healing i give to the true, to true, the true, depressed true. people nee i'm sure because uh, making someone happy makes you yourself a lot happier uh, when you go back home you're a lot more content and calm with yourself and uh, at at some point of every day in our lives we must be a clown to to ourselves to everyone around just to ward off that success and i hope you all have enjoyed our lovely conversation with uh, chani ji thank you so much for being on the road less traveled thank you very much for you're it. definitely walking the less traveled path against the current and it was lovely talking to you thank you so much my pleasure and all of you please subscribe to the channel and share with us if you want us to showcase any such beautiful stories we are there for you and i'll see you next time thank you so much bye bye